good hooligans welcome back to the channel welcome to monday night raw as the pyro explodes these fans are excited they are on their feet we are just three weeks away from the extreme rules pay-per-view we are live from Louisville, Kentucky, and of course, last week we learned that Seth Rollins is the new number one contender for Johnny Graves' title, and speaking of Johnny Graves, the Universal Champion, going to kick off the show here tonight. He has a microphone in hand. Clearly, he has something to get off his chest. I can only imagine it has something to do with Seth Rollins and him becoming the new number one contender for Johnny's Universal Championship. Allow me, if you will, to be the first to congratulate Seth Rollins on becoming the number one contender for the Universal title. If anyone understands the sacrifice, the heart, and the relentlessness required just to earn a shot at championship gold, it's me. Now, I know the question on everyone's mind is what will Johnny Graves do? How will he react to his ally, his partner, his friend becoming number one contender what will happen when the man who had my back and helped me topple the champion and his lackey challenges for the title i have never been afraid to step into this ring and do what i do better than any other man walking god's green earth so the answer to your question is simple i will walk into extreme rules and i will walk out wwe universal champion oh and here we go Johnny Graves being interrupted by Seth Rollins here as now Seth makes his way to the ring. Johnny Graves clearly was not expecting Seth Rollins to interrupt him here tonight, but he is the number one contender. They are friends. Johnny was congratulating Seth on becoming number one contender, so I guess Seth figures, hey, if Johnny's going to come out here and talk, I might as well come out here and say some words myself. We will see what Seth Rollins has to say to his partner, Johnny Graves. Well, Johnny, allow me from the bottom of my heart to thank you. You are right. If anyone knows what it takes to make it to the main event and become champion, it's you. I know that because I, along with Finn Balor, was right there at your side when a new champion was crowned. But let's not forget that I understand what it takes, too. I earned my way to the main event. I earned a shot at Samoa Joe and the Universal title. No love between these two After everything that you sure. and I have been through together, I really hope you're not looking to bring up the past, Seth. I really hope you're not looking to reopen old wounds. I did what I had to do to get ahead. You can certainly understand that. If anyone can appreciate that, it would be the architect. Johnny Graves, wise words here. I have no interest in bringing up the past or reopening old wounds. All I'm saying is that if not for outside influence, I would be Universal Champion right now. I would be standing in your shoes at this very moment. I had an opportunity to become champion and I fell short. You and I are friends. Hell, I came to you about teaming up, but I will not let another opportunity slip through my fingers. They say pride comes would have, could have, should have. I don't think anyone out here or watching at home needs to be reminded what excuses are like. You could have been champion, you should have been champion, but you're not. I overcame the same odds you had to. I had to battle the same politics and backstabbing. You and I are one and the same. And personally, I'm honored to give you a shot. Well, I appreciate that. The only reason I came out here tonight was to look you in the eye and ask you flat out, win, lose, or draw, will you and I still be on the same page? I meant it when I said that you, Finn, and I could dominate the wrestling world for years to come. I meant it when I said we could create a dynasty. So? Ever since I was a kid, something inside me knew that I was destined for greatness. Something I don't know what told me that I was meant to go down in history. To become legend. One thing I have learned is that no man is capable of achieving such greatness on his own. We all at some point in time need someone watching our backs, someone supporting us. That doesn't exactly answer my question. Seth Rollins demanding an answer here. You and I started this takeover together before the Universal title. Hell, before even Finn trusted us enough to jump on board. Nothing can change that. Without you, who knows? Maybe Joe would have found another way to screw me out of what was rightfully mine. That fact is not lost on me. So come Extreme Rules, bring your A-game. Show the world why you are the architect. Show the world why you are the man. 
because I'm coming with everything I have to keep my title. And when all is said and done and the smoke is cleared and a winner has been announced, you and I will continue to rise to new heights in sports entertainment. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Graves looking Seth Rollins in the eye and saying, win, lose, or draw, you and I are on a collision course to greatness. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the rest of this Raw card as Summer Rae and Mickie James go one-on-one. -on -one. Summer Rae gets a big win over Mickie James, and I'll be honest, that's a little bit surprising. That is a little bit surprising. Moving on, The Miz, R-Truth, and Braun Strowman in a triple threat, and The Miz is going to take the win there. Big win for The Miz. He might be looking to get himself a championship opportunity at some point. Bray Wyatt defeats The Big Show. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm glad to see Bray winning. Uh, Sasha Banks defeats Liv Morgan in Liv Morgan's Raw debut. And now we have Seth Rollins and Finn Balor going up against the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And it's going to be the Good Brothers getting the win there. In the main event, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns reigniting their rivalry. And it's going to be Brock Lesnar with the win. Brock Lesnar, number three contender for the Universal title. So we're going to have to keep our eye on that situation. Let's jump ahead to next week. And welcome back to another episode of Monday Night Raw. We are now two weeks, count them, two weeks, 13 days to be exact, away from Extreme Rules, where Seth Rollins will challenge his friend, his partner, his ally, Johnny Graves, for the Universal title. We are in Brooklyn, New York. Let's get this show underway. As we take a look at the card, Alicia Fox goes one-on-one -on -one with Summer Rae. And it's Alicia Fox getting the win over Summer Rae. So a big win for Summer last week and now a loss to Alicia Fox the next week. Sasha Banks and Nia Jax. Nia Jax takes the win there looking to get herself in the women's title picture. Now we got Cesaro and Sheamus taking on Heath Slater and Rhino. And it's going to be the bar taking the win. Alexa Bliss defeats Paige. She is the number one contender for the Raw Women's title, so she's building some momentum towards that championship. Good luck to her. Seth Rollins taking on former Universal Champion Samoa Joe as he prepares for his championship match at Extreme Rules against the current champion, Johnny Graves. And Seth Rollins is going to pick up a big, big win here as he looks to build momentum heading into Extreme Rules and... Defeating Samoa Joe in a former former Universal Champion, pretty big deal. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Rollins already proving himself tonight against a former Universal Champion. And now in the main event of Monday Night Raw, Johnny Graves will have the same opportunity as he takes on a former... Universal Champion in the form of the big dog, Roman Reigns. Believe that. Some people love this man. Some people hate this man. Quite frankly, probably one of the most polarizing figures in the WWE today, if not the single most polarizing figure in the WWE today. Yeah, this was not going to be... And you want to talk about polarizing, you want to talk about controversial, you want to talk about a man who you either love him or hate him. There is no middle ground. Look no further than the WWE Universal Champion, the Sin City Saint, Johnny Graves. Of course, showing these fans that title, showing them that he is king of the mountain that he is the best thing going in the wwe today and determined to prove that he is the greatest thing the wwe has ever seen for all time i'm gonna need to turn that off i'm gonna need to turn off i, I forgot that i gave that that other title 
to Graves for a different As thing I was doing. I need to I need to vacate that title on Graves. Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove no. This sold out Brooklyn crowd on their feet ready for this main event to get underway. Roman Reigns, Johnny Graves one on one and you got to believe Roman Reigns definitely wants to pick up a Singles victory here kind of establish himself as a contender as Graves I leaving the ring he looks like he has no business oh my god a knee I, can't help but get the feeling that this I was gonna, is gonna say Johnny Graves looking like he has no interest in engaging in in, in fisticuffs here with Roman Reigns, but caught him with that knee, but Reigns right back on the attack, Samoan drop onto the floor. And that'll, that'll rearrange your spine, and then right into the backbreaker. And Johnny Graves in some trouble here early on as the big dog taking it to him now gets him back in the ring. Big stomp right to the small of the back, quickly getting Graves back up to his feet. No, Graves, nice reversal. Oh, and he misses the knee. Roman Reigns managing to get out of the way. Graves slips out of the out of that uh, slam attempt there. Big kick to the stomach. What's Graves got mine here? Pump handle into the gut buster. Beautiful move there from Graves. It's now Reigns looking to get to the ropes, try to pull himself up, and a big kick right to the side of the head takes him down again. Graves now, what's he got in mind? Roman pulling Reigns away from the ropes. Oh, and then he drives the knee that. right into the skull. The dog, you can be sure. The man I'm not sure what that was. Samoan it looked like Dynasty Graves attempted to drive a knee, but Roman might have might have got out of the way of that one, and then a backbreaker right from Graves. Turn about fair play here is now Graves seems to be focusing on the back of Roman. Oh, and now just vicious strikes and then slams his face into the canvas. That's one thing we have seen from Graves as of late. A vicious ground and pound game as he hits that DDT and there it is. There it is, the arrogance of Johnny Graves taking the time to taunt and now taunting Roman Reigns directly. First, he was playing to the fans. Now Roman he's challenging Reigns Roman to, to get no back to his feet. Roman up. No, Roman manages to avoid whatever Roman Graves had in mind. A big clothesline right Reigns. to the back of the neck. Not in Roman Reigns, vocabulary. The power, the agility, Reigns and trapping the, the head the now, dropping the elbows into the, match, into the temple, into the forehead area of Graves. Now gets Johnny back to his feet. What's Roman got in mind here? Going for a slam. No, once again, Johnny slips out reverse DDT, plants him. Nice counter there from Graves as he's getting Roman up. No, Roman sweeping the legs out from under him. And now Reigns focusing on that arm. Once again, just attacking the arm of Graves. Big right hand. Oh, misses the clothesline, though. Catches the leg. Big elbow right to the kneecap and then lands that clothesline. Give it up for Reigns. He is meeting every challenge Graves has for him. And a Superman punch from Reigns. Superman punch out of nowhere. And Roman Reigns might be closing in on a victory spear. No, no. Graves manages to reverse the spear into a DDT. And now Graves showing his arrogance. Oh, series of strikes here from Graves. He's in control now, but he's got to be careful because he took that Superman punch out of nowhere. Now Graves, oh, nice little suplex there. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it was fun to look at. Showing off for the crowd a little bit. Graves in the corner. Oh, here we go. Johnny Graves calling for it. Johnny Graves calling for it. The silencer connects. The silencer connects. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Oh, no. Roman Reigns kicking out. Roman Reigns kicking out. And Johnny Graves can't believe it. And right back to that ground and pound mentality. Right back to that brutal. Just driving his fist into the temples of... Roman Reigns before driving his face into the canvas. This Graves got in mind here. Takes him over the top rope. Oh, nice counter there from Reigns. Showing a little agility, a little athleticism. I didn't know the big dog had. Once again, takes him over the top rope and a big right hand drops Reigns all the way to the floor. Oh, God. Johnny Graves going up to the top rope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. He drives the knee right into the chest of Reigns. Johnny Graves putting it all on the line and it He's paid out for him, here, paid off for him. Up, there we go. Johnny Graves looks like he might be content with just taking a count out victory here. Referees counts up to five, but Reigns back on his feet and right back for into the ring. Corner and corner again, the Graves with that knee catches him clean on the jaws. Reigns tried to get himself up back to his feet and 
Graves just kind of just kind of booted him in the face a little bit, sending him back to the canvas. This superstar is so happy with this. Graves from behind rankings. hooks the head and a diving Green reverse and DDT. Now over the mantle in his house. He is a Graves now taking there. a moment trying to come up with a strategy of how he's going to keep the big dog down as now Reigns back he to his feet and the Enziguri catches him clean goes he right into the cover down. one and a kick out at one from Reigns wow Johnny Graves can't even keep Reigns down for a two count following that Enziguri now Graves look just going to look to stay on the attack Keep wearing Reigns down as again he sends him over the top rope and now a shoulder block takes him all the way to the floor. Graves wasting no time meeting him on the outside now. Graves hooks him. Oh, inverted STO and right into the Koji clutch. Right into the Koji clutch. There's no way Graves is going to win this match with a submission on the outside. He's just looking to punish Roman Reigns. He just wants to hurt Roman Reigns right now. Roman Reigns, though, is finding a way to fight out of that one. But you got to believe he is in some pain right now. He is worn down. He is hurt. Graves back into the ring. Reigns follows him in, and a big kick right to the small of the back takes him down. Graves gets Reigns back to his feet. Oh, misses that discus lariat. A little fireman's carry there from Reigns. Gets Graves back to his feet. Big uppercut. Oh, and another Superman punch. Another Superman punch. And now Reigns going to play to the crowd instead of taking advantage. Reigns, you are up against the Universal Champion. You got to stay on him. You got to stay on him, Reigns, right back to that arm. Just a matter of time now before this superstar goes Gets for the back to his feet in the spear. No, again, again for the second time tonight, the spear has been reversed by Johnny Graves. He can't get back to his feet. Reigns Graves got mine now. Pulling Reigns away from the rope. I think we might see it, yes. We saw this when Johnny Graves... Defended the title against Samoa Joe. Spinning back kick from Graves and Reigns is out cold. One, two. Oh my God. Oh my God. Again, Roman Reigns kicking out. And now Graves just stomping away at the back of Roman Reigns. Clearly he's upset. Clearly he's frustrated. Enziguri catches him right on the side of the head. Pulling Reigns back up to his feet. No, Roman Reigns fighting out of it. No, Johnny with the reverse and now sends Reigns into the ropes. Oh, these two collide. Oh, big uppercut from Reigns. And a big clothesline sends Graves all the way to the floor. Roman Reigns now just going to stand there. Staring down at Graves. He knows that he's in control. Everything Johnny Graves has thrown at him, Roman Reigns has been able to just absorb and throw right back Doesn't into the face oh my here, god what no, he's roman reigns to the top like rope him. roman reigns to the top rope and he misses the elbow drop Still graves rolls out of the here. ring he's just in the nick of right time now. and roman reigns is down and roman reigns is hurt but still somehow the big dog fighting, getting back to his feet. Both of these back into the ring. Graves now with a sliding clothesline takes him down. Not even oh, allowing Reigns to get back to his feet. Definitely aren't looking very good for oh, right Johnny now. Graves saying the it's over. Johnny him. Graves is calling for the end. Misses the big knee. Oh, and a big right hand from Reigns. Wisely, Graves outside of the ring. Slips right back in. Playing a little cat and mouse here. Oh, and there's the discus clothesline from Graves. Oh, he's in trouble here. Oh, here we go. Graves measuring him. Graves measuring him. He's got the head hook. He's got the arm. He gets him up. Star killer. Star killer. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Johnny Graves with the pin. One, two, three. And there is your winner, the universal champion, Johnny Graves. Graves, what a win heading into Extreme Rules. We take another look at this. There you see the Koji clutch on the outside. Reigns finally managing to break the hold, though. But at that point, I feel like the damage has been done. Superman punch here from Reigns. And 
And that spinning back kick from Graves. Roman Reigns busted open earlier in this match. And there's the star killer. Beautiful work by our cameraman. Somebody's getting fired. Anyway, hooligans, that is it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications. You can get up to date every single time I post a new video. I am out for now, but I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.